when I came in and said I was looking for you, what went through your mind? Um, surprise. <laughs> um, I wonder who did this. Because <laughs> you never know what middle schoolers' motives are. No, it's, it's an honor for middle schoolers to appreciate any teacher. So it's, it was um, a pleasant surprise. What drove you into teaching? What was it that got you kind of interested in this career? Um, short story. I never wanted to be a teacher growing up. Um, I got a job where I had an opportunity to finish my degree and I had to work full time. So my boss at the time told me that he would help me go to Mercer and I had to go at night because I had to work full time. And I had two options for night school in Macon and it was education and engineering. And I said, you know, I'm smart enough to be an engineer, but I think I'll try being a teacher. And I've always been blessed with really good jobs and I've been happy with every job I've ever had. Um, so when I went to Mercer, I fell in love with not only the school, but the whole career path. Um, I learned to love children. I didn't have any at the time. I was married. Um, so it just kind of found me, you know? What do you, how would you describe your role as a teacher, what you're trying to do? <clears throat> I'm very passionate about math. Um, a lot of kids don't like math, and I find that math is one of the most exciting things in the world, and I love to help children find hopefully a passion for it too or a love for it, but if not, just, I guess, the confidence to know that they can at least do it successfully, even if they're not perfect at it, because it's going to make them a better person to be able to think through problems and solve them. So I, I think that is just, I guess, my heart is to help them find that love for math or like. <laughs> What's it like when you see a student who may have struggled to start with and as the year goes on you can all of a sudden see everything starting to click together well it's certainly like what the moment teachers live for you know but <clears throat> it's more about the student and not about me i guess and when i see it finally click i do sometimes say i told you if you would stick to it it would happen because everybody learns at a different pace Sometimes we have to move along before someone has mastered something. But I always say to them, just hang on tight, keep moving with us. And when that light bulb goes off that they always say, it's just rewarding for them because they kept persevering, so. Sure, a lot of your students would probably say you're a role model for them. Well, I hope so. I mean, I hope that any adult in any position with a child would be, you know. Um, I try to be real. Um, I try to be someone that they can trust and depend on and I'm prepared for them every day so they know that I love my job and I show them by being here and doing it every day, you know. And we're happy to show them too that you're one of my teacher's top teachers. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't, what, did you, what did you say to the kids? Like what would you... Wow. Okay, so it's been a while, but they were so um, connected with you. You know, I, it's, it's hard to say. I just believe my heart is here, and I have never been happier as a teacher than I am these last few years I've taught in middle school. I feel like it's been the place I'm supposed to be. Um, I've taught third grade for 13 years, and I loved it when I was there. And when I moved to middle school, I was pretty scared of middle schoolers, you know. I have one child, and after he passed third grade, 
I began to think, hmm, maybe I can handle a little bit older kid, you know. So um, I really enjoyed teaching them math. And some of them I got to teach twice. And that really made a bond. However, this is the first group I didn't get to teach twice. So the ones ahead have had me a couple of mm -hmm. times. But I just, you know, I try to be consistent. I try to be real. Um, I'm not one of these singy-songy fake t I'm not that there's a lot of, I'm just not a singy-songy person that's, you, what you see is what you get, you know. So I think they can relate to that. I remember middle school. We called it junior high. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I became more out there, you know, like socially, you know, you become involved in extracurricular activities. It's the first time that you get to experience things like that. It's such a great year. The middle school years are, they're really good. I think teachers are super important in middle school because these are some years where a lot of changing is going on and they need people to just be there for them, listen to them. Some, you'd be surprised how many kids just want to talk to you. So um, sometimes I'm a good listener. Sometimes I'm a good talker. <laughs> just depends. 